Good morning, and welcome to this episode of Map Talks. I'm not, as you can see, it's dark outside, so it's uh, still uh, relatively early, early in the morning. Um, charging the car up, we and getting get getting ready to go into Oslo today to see the Model Three that they have on display before it goes uh, moves on on this tour. To Bergen or whatever, wherever it's going. I know it's red, which is fitting because that's the color I want. Yes, they put the price up, so that's maybe this isn't becoming red when I get mine. Who knows? It's gonna be quite a while. Uh, sometime next year. I mean, I, I have my Hyundai Ionic, which I have become more and more pleased with the longer I've had it. I have had, I've had it now in. A bit of a month. Uh, when I had it, it was on the odometer was on eight kilometers. It's now on five thousand one hundred and thirty-eight. So, yes, I've been driving a bit. So, what are the points I'm looking most forward to today? Just getting a feel for it in the real world. I mean, I've watched tons of videos and you know all that stuff, and of course the screen. Ooh, the screen. I've been driving SS. Uh, maybe I can get myself around to drive an X as well while I'm there. I'm driving the X yet. I've driven a few SS. But anyway, the 15 inch screen, which is um, landscape, and it's closer to you and it's it's it's, it's more uh, out there in a way. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that feels to use. And just the general... Now, this is going to be very exciting. I don't think I'm going to make a video video there because I don't want to go around like that. Uh, not because I can't, simply because it's probably going to be crowded and there's no reason to, really. Take a few pictures. Uh, I don't probably don't even have to take pictures because you will know how the car, what the car looks like. But that's how I'm going to do it and I'm going to tell you afterwards what I think. So... I'm back. Actually, it's been a few days since I was at the Model 3 event of life and stuff. But my impressions, <laughs> it's the first impression was like, wow. I've, I've, we've all seen pictures of it now. It's been a few years since the reveal and a year and a bit since launch. So and everybody says it is more beautiful in the real life and it really is more beautiful in real life. It's amazing. It must be a very diff. It, it looks borderline simple. You know, almost, I won't say boring, but it's very unadorned, very clean. A bit Panamera like in the front, but it is. It must be a very difficult uh, execution in simplicity. Because as most of us who try to draw anything or make anything knows, making things look simple is incredibly difficult. And 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 these uh, efficient, great aesthetics of the car on the outside really amazing. Good sized boot. It's it's more like a cave opening actually than the traditional saloon kind of lid but yeah it's big deep and you have the big uh, room in the bottom as well as you have in all teslas and a few other evs and the frunk was you know it's a frunk you can get a soft bag in there uh or your cables or whatever you know it's 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 it's, a, it's an additional space You get inside of it and the screen is the first thing you notice. It's the only thing you notice really because you know it's, it isn't very much else in there. And I must say it looks smaller than I thought it would look given in the videos and the photos and all that stuff. Uh, and it's not small, that, that would be a lie. It's, it, 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 but it, it isn't in real life, it doesn't look quite as dominant. It, 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 at the placement of it and the feel of it, it's nigh on. I don't try not to use the word perfect too often, but it's placed very, very, very close to perfect. And it's so quick and so light 
soft and then and so uh crisp and clear and responsive and uh, it's it runs such high um, such a high resolution and the whole layout of it is just magnificent i mean this is a new car i know the systems of it aren't all that new but still you know hyundai kia hyundai runs the same things today slightly updated and the model 3 just blows everything else into the middle of last week And the seats are comfortable, uh, softer than the S we had uh, uh, earlier this year. Much softer, I think. I think it was difficult to judge because there was a lot of people coming and going, and you know how these things are. Um, but I sat very well. The view outside is fabulous because you have no instrument pinnacle. You just and the seat and the minimalist look. It's. Something I think if Volvo did this, it would be hailed as wow, Scandinavian minimalism. Tesla does it, it's like oh, it's simple, there's no buttons, no, well, you know, but it works because the layout is so brilliant and the screen is so, so, so responsive, very responsive, and so quick that just it, and they keep constantly updating the car. Even me, who follows Tesla relatively closely, when I pod, prod it on the screen, oh, when you, you, you just change temper, they, because the temp temperature up and down uh, arrows on the screen itself is relatively small and surprisingly narrow and small. Because the screen is most, much more compressed in a way. But you touch it and then you get this dial, this bar you can just slide and then this is brilliant, really, very nice, very nice. Um, and you have everything else there, you know. And the, the energy graph, it, it had used, I checked the graph just because I always wanted just to see. <laughs> this, this is a US version that just kicked over. And um, yeah, it used a lot of energy, <laughs> so I think somebody had fun in it. Uh, and the, the the buttons to get in and out, uh, to get out of the car, you know, um, instead of these traditional door handles, it's <laughs> it's. I knew about it, even though I haven't thought about it for a year. But just so intuitive, just. Because your hand rests there and it just goes automatically there. Click. Open door. You know, it's so natural. So I didn't even think of it. It was brilliant. Um, and the, the glass roof. Yeah, it's it's so... so Even if it is very heavily tinted, it, it's still very nice indeed. And it gives uh, quite a lot of headroom in the back. I was expecting expecting some more headroom, but it was okay. It is noticeably smaller than the S, actually much more so than I thought, because when you look at the um, look at the numbers of the S and the 3, yes, they're different, but there's not really that much in it. But then you see it, it, it looks much smaller, and it also feel, it feels ever so slightly more cramped. In the front, plenty of space, and also fairly all right in the back, I must say. I think the seats were softer and better, at least in the back. Uh, and I had headroom in the three. I don't have headroom in the S. Um, the door handles worked. Bang, open. Not a big fuss. I mean, Aston has had the same thing. You know, several others have had similar kind of door handles, so it's not exactly a new thing. It's just a matter of getting used to. That's all. Now I just, now I just want to test drive, because uh, I've been waiting a long while now for this car. I know people have waited longer, but seeing it and sitting in it may, and, and fiddling with the screen and get a feel of all the, you know, touching the materials, which are, that's one thing I noticed. 
the build, the quality and the materials and the feel of the thing. You know, you prod around and you touch them. Much, much better than the S. I mean, I love the, I love the S, but let's face it, it was the first car they built. And a lot of strange fiddly solutions and things. I know the 3 was accused of having that as well. I'm sure they have still. Uh, um, but it's constantly being better than I'm sure the cars built now are better than the ones they built last year. Uh, but the S has a few inherent problems they haven't really managed to get rid of. And it, it, it just feels now that they've been building cars for the last 30 years or so, you know, get where they are. Not for, what is it, seven since the S came? I don't really count the roads there. Do I still want one? Yes. That's all for now. So uh, do remember to give it a thumbs up or down or, or share and subscribe and all that good stuff. So see you later. Bye.